Yo, what's going on, producer friends? It is your boy Q. Welcome back to another episode of Q Timber. If you're new here and you don't know what Q Timber is, I'm basically doing a 30 day challenge where I upload every single day in the month of September. So we're doing 30 videos in 30 days. If you guys want to make sure that you don't miss an upload, go down, hit that subscribe button, and right next to that is going to be the bell button. And if you hit that, you're going to be notified every single time I upload. But anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make some crazy guitar loops without even a VST. We're going to be using a one shot in this. I'm going to be using my one shot kit, but you guys probably have your own one shot kit. And if there's guitars in there, you already know what to do. But if you want to get the exact results that you're going to see in this video, you might want to cop mine. It's available at quintababa.com. You could get it part of my multi kit full circle, or you could get the one shot kit all by itself, which looks like this. But enough talking, let's actually jump in FL Studio and I'll show you guys how we can do this. All right, so as you can tell, I have a brand new session of FL Studio pulled up. So we're going to go over to my one shot kit. And first thing we're going to do is just grab this guitar from my one shot kit called Delta. Drag it in here and we're going to go to the envelope settings and just bring the hold all the way up, the attack all the way down and the release all the way down. And we're just going to go into the piano roll, go to view and we're going to set the scale highlighting to a natural minor. So we have this right here and if you play it, see it sounds fine. I mean, it doesn't sound bad, but it's just extremely boring. So we're going to bring the BPM down to like 123. And then we're basically going to arpeggiate this. So we're going to pull this middle chord or the middle note up an octave. And then we're going to pull it back like this and go like that. Maybe bring it down an octave as well. And then let's see if we could just get like a cool chord pattern going. Cool, so I like this, so we're going to duplicate that over and then we're going to bring it up because it's a little like too deep right now. Alright, so now we're in C minor, so I'm going to go to the view tab again and we're going to change the scale highlighting to C minor now. And then what we're going to do is route this to a mixer track and this is where you get it to sound a lot more realistic. The first thing we're going to do is just add some kind of delay. You could use any plugin you want. For example, you could use the fruity delay, but I'm going to be using this one called Delay Eternity. This has a lot of cool presets in there. All right, so I want this a little louder too. So we're gonna go into this button right here and we're just gonna bring the boost up a tad bit. And then now we're gonna do like a guitar lead. So I'm gonna bring this one from my one shot kit in called Wavy. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. I'm gonna hold all the way up, release all the way down. And we're just gonna make like a cool little lead. i to make this a little louder too. So we're gonna boost this as well. So something cool we could do here is hit Alt R on your keyboard. This will randomize it, but you can turn the pattern off and we're just going to mess with the velocity. Probably be good. And then we're just going to bring these velocities down a bit and we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to add some delay, reverb, and EQ it a little bit just to make it sound a little bit more realistic. So I really like this guitar preset that I had on the first guitar. So we're going to bring that over as well. All right, 
Alright, so now let's EQ this. And then I'm going to add another delay eternity on here under all those effects. So we're going for something that Drew Kenji would be on. So the way I'm trying to make these guitar sounds is super, super like cloudy and just like there's like a lot of atmosphere to them. So another thing we're going to add is just a bell. So we're going to go back to my one shot kit. And there's this bell called clean and what we're going to do is just the same thing here just to hold attack and release like that and we're going to cap we're going to copy this main pattern over to the bell solo it out we're just going to make that louder normalize it then we're going to add a delay eternity of course And then we're going to add a Valhalla Vintage Verb. Cool, and now let's just add a bass. I think I'm going to use this one called Smooth. So what we're going to do is just same thing as we always do for one shots. Adjust it like that and just copy the bass notes. And just hit Control L on your keyboard. We're going to route bass to mix track six and we're going to take all the melodic parts of our melody right now and click route to this track only on a free track and we're going to bring an eq on there and just take out some of that low end and the last thing i'm going to try and add is just like a lead on top of everything so I don't know, I notice this in a lot of guitar beats that Joe Kenji uses. If they're super melodic like this, he usually hears some kind of lead. So what we're going to do is just the same exact thing we do for every one shot. And then see if we can just click something on top here. I actually really like the way this flute sounds on it, so we're just gonna route this to mix track four and kind of just EQ it a bit, make it stand out in the background. Yeah, and we're set pretty much for the melody right there, so we're gonna split this by channel and just do some kind of arrangement here. But for right now, we're just gonna duplicate it over like that and then. We're going to loop this part right here where I just take the flute out. And we're just going to make this melody a bit quieter. And we're going to make a new pattern called drums. Drag that in, loop it, and then we're going to start on the drums right here. And for the drums, I'm going to be using my full circle multi kit, which has the one shot kit that you saw I use here and the drum kit, as well as a loop kit. And then there's a bunch of stuff sprinkled in between. You could get everything in there separately if you want to, but it's just a better deal if you grab the full circle multi kit. Anyways, the drum kit looks like this if you want to copy it, quintababa.com. But let's get into it. We're just going to go straight to the 808 actually. All right, so that works for now. So let's just grab a kick.
so that's it for the drum. So now we're just going to split that by channel and just arrange this a little bit. So we're going to start out with a cool little intro. So I just brought the melody down an octave and we're going to automate that. So we're going to have it start like this. I'm going to grab this, this little effect. Have that coming right there. Just turn this down. And that is the whole beat right there. We are done. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something too. I think this beat actually turned out pretty good. So if you guys did enjoy the beat or if you enjoyed the tutorial at all, make sure you hit that like button. And also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. But like I said, that's all I got for this video. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Now, deuces.